Hi everyone, this is Richard Byrne at freetechforteachers.com. Today I want to talk about downloading your blog's content, why you should do it, and how to do it on a couple of popular blogging platforms. There are a couple of reasons why you might want to download your blog post from time to time. First, if you want to create a printed version of your blog, downloading the post is a good way to go about it. Uh, and by the way, printing out a student written blog is a great way for them, for their parents, for other people to have a tangible record of a year's worth of writing or a semester's worth of writing all in one neat little package as opposed to having papers that are strewn about throughout the, the quarter or the semester of the year. Uh, the second reason to download your blog post from time to time is to have a record of your work just in case something happens with your blogging platform and you're not able to access your work anymore. Uh, You've probably spent a lot of time on your blog and you don't want to lose that work due to a technical glitch that may or may not be within your control. Uh, for example, I have 5,600 or so blog posts in Blogger right now uh, and I, I back them up every week, I download them every week just in case something happens like it did last spring where Blogger was inaccessible to a lot of people for a couple of days. Uh, I kind of panicked during that couple of days because I was wondering when will I see my blog again. Uh, fortunately, I had my blog posts already downloaded at that point, so I wasn't going to lose what I'd already worked on. So now I want to show you how to download your blog posts from a couple of the popular blogging platforms uh, that are used by educators quite a bit, EduBlogs and Blogger. So if you're using EduBlogs, and you go into your EduBlogs dashboard, you want to go down to the Tools section, and under Tools, select Export. And you'll see there are a few different options here in EduBlogs. Uh, you can download the posts, the pages, the wikis, or the whole kit and caboodle, everything that's in your blog. Uh, if you're just interested in your post and you're not interested in all the other sidebar content and all of that stuff, just go for the posts. Uh, or if you just want the pages, if you've set up a lot of pages with uh, static information, you know, handouts from, from class, that sort of thing, maybe you just want to download the pages. But in this case, I'm, I would download all my content if I'm not sure how much or what I'm going to need out of it. And then it creates a, a nice file for me when I go to download it. Okay, so the other blogging platform that I see a lot of educators using is Blogger. And as I already mentioned, I use Blogger quite a bit. If you're using the new Blogger interface, or the it, new being a relative term, it's been out for over a year now, uh, and you want to download your your blog content. Go to Settings, Other, and then under Blog Tools, Export Your Blog. It'll give you this little dialog box that tells you, yes, uh, I'm downloading my blog. Go ahead and download your blog, and that's all there is to it. You can save that file. It's an XML file, so it's, uh, it's not a PDF. It's not something that's visually very pleasing, but you do have a record of all of your blog content you can move that blog content to another blogging platform, you can uh, just have a record of it to, in case you ever were working on your blog or blog and you messed something up and you wanted to go back to the way it was before, you've got a file that you can upload. So that's how to download your blog post and why you want to do it. For more tutorials and more tips, please check out freetechforteachers.com.